Hi, thanks for tuning in to this next episode of The Field Guide to Lake Country. I'm here with my friend Sarah, who's the owner of Lake Country Coffee in Lake Country. <clears throat> so Sarah, yes. how long have you been open? <laughs> well, my husband and I have been the owners here for four years. We just had our four year anniversary literally on the first, so literally a week ago. Um, this coffee shop used to once be a butcher shop back in the 70s. And um, the reason it is, it is a coffee shop now is because 13 years ago, the art gallery, which we are attached to, um, wanted a little mom and pop shop, muffins and coffee, little convenient um, space where people would come and just meet up and that kind of thing. And that's how it got, uh, that, that was its infancy back in the day. So we've had it for four years, but it has been a coffee shop for almost 14 years now. We are the fourth owners as well. Wow, cool. That's what, that's actually explaining all these really cool, these cool bits of hardware. Yeah, the, so, sorry, the art gallery actually uh, was the storefront and all of our area back here was the, essentially where they, kept, the yeah. freezers where they kept the meat and stuff like that. So we do have kept all the old racking and things like that, which is something that people like love. They love coming in and showing their friends and talking about it and all that kind of stuff. So it is definitely um, a conversation starter. Yeah, it's really beautiful. So, <clears throat> What prompted you to take over Lake Country Coffee House? I remember the moment, um, <laughs> which is funny because when I heard it was for sale a number of years back, I actually told a couple people to do it. I was like, go buy that coffee shop, you know, and it wasn't on my radar whatsoever. And it wasn't until my husband and I were just on a walk one day and we were just like, what do we want to do with our lives? Like, you know, how can we change it up? Like, do you like your job? All that kind of stuff. And and he was like, you know what, I would like a change. And I was like, okay, I've always wanted to have a coffee shop, cool things store. And, you know, <laughs> and then and I was like, the coffee shop's for sale. And, um, and so we kind of looked into that and the rest was history. Like it moved very quickly. But um, I will say that like, you know, like with any business, you kind of roll with it because he was actually supposed to be the face of this business. I was just going to help with events. But I was here. Now I've been here for four years. And that's just how we like rolled with it. Um, but and he kept his job but um yeah we really looked at it as a place where we really wanted to do music events music music events comedy nights we wanted to open it up it was just all about like a community event space more so than a coffee shop mm -hmm. and that was really just like the extra bit was a coffee shop yeah but. <laughs> and the funny thing is like we didn't even own a coffee maker right never owned one <laughs> don't even know how to use one I know how to use a big, big machine. I can yeah, make a exactly. latte for days, but we do not have a coffee maker at home. Right. Like, you just don't know how to make That's a, the irony, yeah. a drip coffee. <laughs> I can't even do it. <laughs> no. That's just wild. So, so tell me about your tagline. I, I really love it. Uh, where creativity and community meet. So, again, that was just really kind of like a homage to the door that we share with the, co with the um, art gallery, which is... We're, we're neighbors, we're, you know, sisters in this building kind of thing. And it is really where creativity and community meet. meet. Just like cheers. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It's the place in Lake Country where everyone can feel comfortable. And that's exactly what happens. It's a home away from home. Like for so many people, they feel comfortable here. It's cozy. Um, I think people have really relied on it, like through their through their lives um, for, for obviously 14 years. And um yeah, it's just that cool space. Like, not a lot of communities have, like, an epicenter kind of thing yeah. in the middle of town that, like, is like that. And um, we really are an epicenter. Like, we get calls like, hey, what's going on in the community today? I'm like, I'm not sure. Like, <laughs> hey, what time is it? I don't know. Are you calling from a phone? I don't know. <laughs> so, like, yeah, people depend on us, I guess. So Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. So what's everyone's, what, what would you say is the number one thing people order? when they come here? Well, obviously people like their coffee, but I would definitely say that through the years, there has been one item always on the menu, always made by all the owners, and it's stayed in its amazing, delicious state, and that is our legendary, world famous carrot cake. Sweet, okay. So Lake Country Coffee House carrot cake, a must have. Cool. Yes, you have to come and try yeah. it, it is amazing, yeah. yeah. So you have artists on the wall. Um, do you rotate artists or do you have some regulars? We have some people, some artists that obviously have been up more so than others for sure. Um, we tend to rotate the art uh, every month or every six weeks or so. 
to change it up. Try to be mindful of the vibe with the seasons and all that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, we're always taking new, new uh, submissions kind of thing and that kind of thing. So yeah, it's always changing, always keeping it. You know, it is a little art gallery in itself. We don't, we are not connected to the art gallery. We're our own little gallery, if you will. But um, yeah, a lot of people have had like their first little shows here and stuff. So yeah, yeah, that's exciting. Um, and you also have a really nice gift area. So I've seen some rotation. Uh, do you have any things you like to focus on, especially? Well, we yeah, so we created the little gift room um, back over a year ago now, and it's been really, really popular. So it's normally uh, local artists that yep. are putting their work in there, everything from jewelry to sun catchers to, you know, toques and stuff like that in the winter. Um, Everything, everything. Um, a lot of really cool items. So we just focus on local, mm -hmm. um, but also too just kind of like fun, not super expensive, but like just magical things that people can take home and like, you know, probably more so our customers or people that just keep kind of coming in and yeah. poking in there and buying things constantly, right? It's not necessarily um, tourists at this time, but yeah. you know, it will be in the summer again, but. Right. So you can find Sarah here, uh, what are your hours, Sarah? We are currently open eight to three every day and nine to two on Sundays. So we're kind of like a morning hangout joint um, currently. So yeah, come see us. Come see us hang out all day if you want to. We've got people that literally do three shifts a day. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So I also have heard there could be some new hours, um, but you just got to stay tuned for that. Stay Thanks. tuned. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks everyone. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't drink my coffee.